When I start my creative process, I have those recurring thoughts about whether or not what I'm about to make is meaningful enough to spend so much energy in. What if what I'm about to do or say is irrelevant? Why do I even bother trying? Will, will my ideas create an impact meaningful enough? Will it resonate with others? Will it, will it resonate with me? What's the most important thing for me? To be heard. Not only by others, but by myself as well. I need to remind myself of what I've accomplished throughout the years and what I still need to do. I need to remind myself of what I've become, of who I want to be, and who I am now. Who am I? An artist. I twist the reality we live in by directing people. But I don't direct them to make pretty looking films. I direct people so I can hear echoes of who we are because by directing them, we allow each other to enter parts of our vulnerabilities, parts of what we fear or love. Who does my art serve? I hope that somehow, in some way, I'm helping some people with what I do. That I'm helping them feel connected with who they are. That the stories I will continue to do for them will give them hope. I know it gives me some. Because without creating, I wouldn't be able to canalize all my sadness, all my madness, all my pain, all my love. And I wouldn't have been able to win this unexpected war. Psychosis. Now, a severe mental disorder in which thought and emotions are so impaired that contact is lost with external reality. I was 21 when it first happened to me. For a period of pure nightmare, I lost connection with the world. My mind took over and made me face inner demons so brutally and so fast, it was like I was a helpless witness of a raging war. It wasn't a war with bombs or screams, blood and bodies, but it was just as violent. From the outside, everything seemed but from the inside, everything was shattered into pieces. The only opponents who clashed were me against my mind. It made me hear and see things that were so frightening. I wasn't prepared for that. How could I have been? How does one ever be prepared to face mysterious, distorted silhouettes that are tracking you down during the day and haunting you in your dreams at night? The craziest thing is that no one could hear or see my fear. it away from everybody the best way I could. People that were close to me during that period of time could only see it through my eyes and my weak voice telling them I'm afraid. I'm losing contact with the world. What if, what if I never, I'm never able to be myself again? The first step to spiritual awakening is known as the, the spiritual wake-up call. It may come in many forms. The most commonly understood is the experience of loss, crisis, or some other tragedy. For me, my psychosis was the first step. The second step is the creation. When I was in the process of recovering from my psychosis, I began to feel that just, just maybe there was a gift there waiting for me. I slowly realized that my, my gift was my ability to create. Whether through photography, or words, or a combination of both, artistic creation has always been a huge part of who I am. Even in my darkest time, I always carried a pen and paper with me to draft up new concepts, photo shoot ideas, and ideas for films. That was what kept me alive. That was what healed me. Now with hindsight, I realized that the psychosis I had at 21 was actually part of a gift because it allowed me to become the person I am now. I realized that all the trials that I had endured led me to this precious moment, the present moment. So, who am I? Just another human being with lots of layers.